Hi, I'm author Ellie Alexander, and on this edition of My Favorite Reads, I'm going to be sharing what's in my TBR stack right now, what I've just finished, what I'm currently reading, and what I can't wait to dive into next. So stay tuned. How is social distancing going for you? If you're like me, you might be reading more these days. I guess that's one unexpected little piece of joy in the midst of such sadness and tragedy. Books are always an escape, but especially now. I've been chatting with so many of you about what you're reading and have received a lot of email and messages about what I'm reading and what I might recommend. My first recommendation is if you are on the hunt for some new reads right now, shop at your local independent bookstore. I've been in the mood for historical fiction lately. Okay, full disclosure, I'm always in the mood for historical fiction. It's one of my go-to genres, and I think there's something important about transporting ourselves back in time when we're facing challenges. Historical fiction provides a lens of understanding and a scope of how people who came before us faced adversity. Since I was on the hunt for new historicals, I called the amazing team at Beach Books. <laughs> Their store, like so many independent shops, is closed. But a quick phone call was all it took to have a stack of books arrive on my porch a few days later. And here's the best part about shopping with local bookstores. I said, can you recommend some titles? I've read a bunch of World War II stuff lately. I'm hoping for something different. And Hillary immediately launched into a mini dissertation on a handful of titles that sounded perfect for me. That is the gift of supporting booksellers. They know books, they read books, they live, they breathe books, and they want to find the perfect book for you. I'm confident that they succeeded. So let's take a look at my stack. Okay, book number one is what I just finished reading, Death of an Avid Reader by Francis Brody. I love this series. It's historical mystery featuring the very spunky Kate Shackleton. This series is set in England in the 1920s. It's light, it's cozy, yet it's very rich with details about life post-war and Kate's challenges working as a private investigator. I think this is book seven. I've slowly been working my way through the series, and if you're a fan of historical mysteries, I highly recommend you start from the beginning. Book number two is what I'm currently reading, The Book of Lost Friends by Lisa Wingate. Okay, here's another reason you should support your local bookstores. Beach Books tucked in a couple of advanced reader copies with my order, like this. The Book of Lost Friends is out today. I am only a few chapters in, but I am completely captivated. The book was inspired by old newspaper ads at the Civil War. It chronicles heartbreaking letters to the editor written by former slaves seeking to find their families and then moves forward in time to the South in the 1980s. And again, it's out today, so you can snag a copy. All right, book number three is what's going to be next in my stack. Love and Ruin by Paula McLean. Did you read The Paris Wife? That was one of the books that I mentioned I had read and enjoyed when I was placing my order with Beach Books. Paula McLean wrote The Paris Wife, and this is the follow-up. We're going to be introduced to Martha Gellhorn, the third wife of none other than Hemingway. The book is set in Madrid, where Martha travels to report on the Spanish Civil War, and I'm super excited to read this one. Number four is The City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. If you haven't read anything by Elizabeth Gilbert, then maybe you've been hiding under a rock or were practicing social distancing before it became trendy. Okay, I'm kidding, of course, but Elizabeth has a masterful resume when it comes to crafting page turners. I can't wait to read The City of Girls, which is set in New York in the 1940s, where Vivian, a 19-year-old girl, has been kicked out of Vassar and shows up at her eccentric aunt's apartment. The story is written from the perspective of Vivian later in her life, which I think is such a fascinating angle to take as a writer because you have this entire stretch of time for a character to reflect on. All right, book number five is Finding Dorothy by Elizabeth Letts. Before Hillary from Beach Books could finish describing this one, I was sold. Finding Dorothy takes place in Hollywood circa the late 1930s and centers around Maud Gage Baum, the wife of Frank Baum, who created The Wizard of Oz. 
Maud learns that MGM is adapting her late husband's work for the big screen and knows that she has to find herself a way to get on the set. How awesome does that sound? Okay, last but not least, A Hundred Sons by Karen Tanabe. I'm not sure if that's how you say her name. This is another advanced reader bonus copy. A Hundred Sons is also out today and chronicles the experience of an American heiress who leaves Paris for Vietnam in the 1930s. This one sounds like it's gonna be chocked full of secrets and scandals. Perfect escapism. Okay, so that's what I'm reading now and about to read. Have you read any of these? I would love to hear what else you're currently reading, and if you have any great recommendations, share them in the comments below. As always, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get notified whenever I share new videos. Happy reading!